On April 28, 2024, the High Authority for Audiovisual and Communication issued a statement denying that it has suspended the French media RFE and France Vencat on the Togolese territory. This false information is a misinterpretation of the provisional suspension since April 15, 2024 of foreign media accreditations for the coverage of the 2024 legislative and regional elections. Ahead of these two elections, the Togolese government also issued a statement on April 28 warning the Togolese citizens and residents about the extent of fake news and the legislation in place to suppress it. The Togolese government points out that the publication of false information, defamation, slander, and false election results are punishable under the country's penal code and the press and communication code. On Monday, April 29, 2024, more than 4.2 million Togolese voters went to the polls in two crucial legislative and regional elections. Under the ages of the Independent National Electoral Commission, CENI, no fewer than 2,352 candidates competed to elect 113 deputies and for the first time in the country's history, 179 regional councillors to form the Senate. Despite ongoing security challenges, particularly in the north of the country, the election campaign, which ran from April 13 to 27, 2024, was generally calm. In terms of security, some 12,000 gendarmes and police officers were deployed as part of the security force for the 2024 legislative and regional elections, while the country's land borders remained closed from midnight throughout the voting period. To ensure the fairness of the process, observation mission from the Economic Community of West African States, the Organisation Internationale à Francophonie and the African Union were on the ground, supported by civil society actors, mobilized to ensure the transparency of the voting and counting process. This is the first time in the country's democratic history that the Togolese people have had to vote in two elections. These legislative and regional elections were scheduled for the end of 2023, before being postponed twice in 2024. Preliminary results from this historic day are due to be announced later this week.